Learn fractions with real animals. Fractions. The top, top number tells how many animals we are talking about. And the bottom, bottom number tells how many animals are in the whole group. <laughs> Boys and girls, how many animals do you see in the water? Yes, three. There are two ducks and one goose, which equals three animals. What fraction of the animals is a goose? First, I want you to write down the number three for the total number of animals. Then draw a line above the three. How many of these animals is a goose? Yes, one. So write a one on the line above the three. One third of the animals is a goose. Remember, the bottom number, which is a three, stands for all of the animals. And then the top number, which is a number one, stands for the goose. One third of the animals is a goose. Boys and girls, do you see the two large fish in the water? A white fish and a spotted white fish with a red head. Well, what fraction of the fish are white? First, boys and girls, let's write the total amount of large fish. And what is the answer? Yes, two. Write the number two and draw a line above it. How many large fish are white? Yes, one. So write the number one above the two. The fraction is one half of the large fish is white. Aren't these dogs adorable, boys and girls? They are dressed up like crayons. One dog is a red crayon, and the other dog is a green crayon. What fraction of the dogs are green? First, we need to know how many dogs there are. How many dogs are there, boys and girls? Yes, two. Write the number two down and draw a line above the two. How many dogs are in a green crayon outfit? Yes, one. So the fraction is one half of the dogs is a green crayon. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. Look at these awesome horses. Now I want you to look closely at the horses, boys and girls. What fraction of the horses are wearing a mask? First, I want you to count how many horses there are. And how many horses are there? Yes, four. Draw a line above the four. Now, boys and girls, count how many horses are wearing a mask. How many horses? Yes, one. Write the number one on the line. So the fraction of horses wearing a mask is one fourth. Great job again, boys and girls. Do you see the guinea pigs, boys and girls? Count them. How many are there? Yes, three. And what is the fraction of the black guinea pig? Remember, Write down how many guinea pigs there are total, then draw a line and put the number of black guinea pigs on top. You should have come up with one third. One third of the guinea pigs are black. Your answer is one third. Good job, boys and girls. Here are some cute parakeets. 
Boys and girls, count how many parakeets you see. Yes, three. How many of the parakeets are green? Yes, two. So, I want you to write down how many parakeets there are in all. And how many are there? Three. Draw a line above the three. How many are green? Yes, two. So, our fraction of green parakeets is two thirds. Two thirds of the parakeets are green. Again, boys and girls, I want you to look carefully at these adorable little pigs. First, how many little pigs are there? Yes, three. Three little pigs. Now look carefully. How many of these little pigs have their feet in the feeding bowl? Yes, two. So, what is the fraction of pigs with their little feet in the feeding bowl? You should have two thirds. There are three little pigs and two thirds of them have their feet in the feeding bowl. Are you ready boys and girls for a challenge? What fraction of these little pigs has a black head and a black butt? The key word is black, black, black. Remember, always count how many there are. So count how many pigs there are. Draw a line above your answer. And on the line, write the number of little pigs that has a black head and a black butt. You should have written down one eighth. There are eight little pigs and one eighth of the pigs has a black head and a black butt. Good job, boys and girls. And if you didn't get the answer right, at least you tried and you are smarter. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you too. Teaching tip. Parents, teachers, if you want your child or students to get the full benefit of the fraction lesson, have your child students write down the numbers and fractions with me. Using all three learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetics will improve retention. Note, the slash line in the video means a line on top of the bottom number.